All right. Babes, this is it. First live Hey Babe. It's done. It's a done deal. August 24th, Royersford, Pennsylvania. Two shows. We're doing a live Hey Babe. You can get tickets at ChristyComedy.com or SalVolcanoComedy.com or SoulJoles with an S.com. We're doing Soul Joel's Comedy Dome, Royersford, Pennsylvania. The tickets are almost sold out. We may add two more shows. Get the tickets now. Our first live Hey Babe ever. You have to be in the crowd. A lot of big surprises. It's going to be one for the ages for yes. sure, for sure. Yeah. There's only one first, babe. There's only one first. Come lose your virginity with us at the live Hey Bib. If you're in the front row, wear a poncho. August 24th. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I said so this shit. Is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is bananas H E Y B A B E. This shit is is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas h e y b a b e this shit is bananas H E Y B A B B this shit is bananas H E Y B A B E this shit is bananas H E Y B A B E this shit is bananas H E Y B A B E this shit is bananas H E Y B A B E this shit is bananas H E Y B A B E this shit is bananas H E Y B A B E Hey babe hey babe what you doing What's going on, Bob? How's everything? Good, man. You know, yeah. I'm coming in. I, oh, this is uh, this is my new merch for the Chrissy Chaos podcast. I know. It looks it looks like a baseball logo. Yes, it says CD. CD. I see that. And then that. on the back, it says DeStefano eighty four. We're gonna get you some. Okay, nice. Um, and uh, you go to gonna go to ChristyComedy.com dot com and uh and and get the merch uh, when when we release it. But yeah, babe, I'm just uh, we'll, I wanna, <laughs> we'll have merch too soon. I was gonna say we're working on it right now. We really are. Maybe like in like a month. Yes, it'll be for sale. Yes, it'll be for sale very soon. That's why. I wore this one to say, hey, the Hey Babe merch is coming too. It's, right, it's right. just know it's, 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 if you see this, you know Hey Babe ain't far behind. I like it. It's like we got a little bit of a Yankee thing Bubs, going on. 84 was, no, no, there was no 84 on the Yankees, right? What has happened in 84? The Yan- no, in 84, Mattingly uh, was just, that was his proper rookie year, 84. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was going to say, because the Yankees were around in 1984. Yeah, they were there. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, were, they started in 82. I think the Yankees started in 1982. <laughs> Babe, I watched, by the way, this girl. This, this, excuse my language. This. But this son of a B. Son of a B. This woman who DM'd me on Instagram, by no, the way. No, she didn't. What? I swear to Christ. You didn't tell me that. I, I, because you I didn't wanted, tell me that. Because I wanted to say, what's her name? What's her name again? Snoop Doggy. Samantha. Dog. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? She DM'd you? Her name is Samantha Ramsdale. She DM'd me. I know you've talked. This is on Monday at 2.18 p.m. She says, I know you've talked about the biggest mouth guy. Just saying, I am way funnier. I can do some pretty sick mouth tricks on your podcast. I said, LOL, LOL, wow. Let me talk to Sal. She said, I'll see how many carrots I could fit in my mouth or some shit and make Sal do it too. We can do a side by side. So I wanted to bring that up to you. Did she say some shit or did you say that? 
<laughs> Did she write or some shit? I can see how many carrots I can fit in my mouth or some shit. <laughs> and make Sal do it too. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll wait, do it. wait, wait. And then the next day. Wait, wait. Well, and on April 12th, I did not even realize this. On April, the woman with the, this is crazy. She's how, now in the news. On April 12th, she sent me a message. You're an icon, huge fan, would love to come on the podcast if you ever need the largest female gape in the world on. <laughs> So she already knew she was packing? But that's insane. <laughs> Shout out Samantha Ramsdale. Should Samantha... I want the fans to... Yeah, we, to who doesn't want the biggest female gape on? Listen, go to email heybaypodcast at gmail.com. Should Samantha Ramsdale, female <laughs> with the world's biggest mouth, be the first guest on the Hey Bay podcast? Look at this girl. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to... I, she I love her. She knows what's going on. I love her. She knows tell, what's going tell on. Tell the audio audience what's going on. Well, if you were on there, they just threw up a baby picture of her that looks like if you drew a picture in pencil of a child and then... And then you drew the mouth, and it went to both sides of the of the head. Yes, and and you'd be like, and you and you you would tell your kid like or whoever wrote drew that you'd be like, yeah, you gotta make the mouth a little small. Her face, if you just pull that picture up, it, it's a child, but then the mouth on it looks like the mouth of a of like three adults. I literally, I, <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Look, I love this kid. That's the best photo I've ever seen. She's. I, it, listen, it looks like somebody went in with the app and like stretched her mouth an extra like few inches on each side. I am so <laughs> for doing a field piece for me and Sally, babes. How cute is to go see this girl and and see how many things we can fit in her wait, mouth. Wait, Not in a sexual. I'm talking about food items. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Can we fit this in her mouth? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about French fries cut in the shapes of dicks. Yeah, yeah. No. No, no, kidding. No, but, kidding. I meant like, look, I meant like things that she's doing. Like we come out with, you know, we get a burger and, you know, see. I mean, that's it. Look at her. Wow. I, I mean, look, not to revisit, but she just shattered what's his name's record. No, she just shattered the kid. Well, that's why she messaged us. Oh, she's the biggest gape of a girl. He's the biggest gape of a fellow. She messaged me saying, "Hey, like I heard you, you had this other guy with the world's biggest mouth, but he he ain't nothing." I I come have me on. So I, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if we I have them she, both on? What? What if we watch them French kiss? <laughs> well, also, I think the kid's a minor. I, I, oh, is he a minor? I think the kid's a minor. But right. hey, but listen, on Patreon, <laughs> watch a French kiss. <laughs> no, but on his 18th birthday, we can make it a pay per view. We could make Wait, it a pay per view. Uh, uh, I didn't know he was a minor. Uh, well, <laughs> she just I, has, actually, he may not she be just a minor. Has softballs in her mouth. I don't mean to revisit, but. Wouldn't you? And I, by the way, yes, I did say, why don't we watch them French kiss? Yes. Did you catch that? I did. I yeah. did. I'm, I'm collecting Medicaid soon. Yes. French kiss. What was that about? Are you, are you, are, so are you guys going? Are you going with him? He said, <laughs> <laughs> girl, we've hooked up before. I've made out with. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we made out. Let's say they have a mouth off. Who do you have your money on? I don't know who beats this girl, to be honest with you. I don't know that the other kid can beat this. I mean, look, watch this. I mean, look at this girl. She, she could. She, She's. I mean, I think she has a brick in her mouth long ways. Yeah, I mean, because the thing is with her, the other kid seems like he can open it up uh, vertically. She could open it up horizontally. That's the difference. Who yeah. wins? Part of this also is a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> How big is it? How big is it? How big is her mouth? They put a ruler in our mouth, the dentist. But let me ask, let me, let me just say something and be clear. I would never even notice she has a big mouth until, until, she, until she opens it. Until she, <laughs> would you notice she has a big mouth? You mean until she fully extends it. The thing is, the thing is, is that when she's talking, it seems like, how big is it? 6.52 centimeter. From one end to the other end, like this. A part yeah. like that. Yeah. So when she's talking, you see like she kind of has a big mouth. Yes. But it's not until she starts to inject things into it right. that you realize the sheer magnitude of the mouth. Yeah. But it was a little demeaning. Not demeaning. She's doing it as joking. But the guy handed her what seemed like a giant loofah. Was that just yeah. rope? She just put them out that yeah. white. Oh, that cookie oh my looks God, good, though. That cookie. She just put a wine glass in her mouth. <laughs> this girl, honestly. Oh, my God. What? No, what if it breaks? Oh God! I just got so nervous. If it shattered, that would have that that is risque. Oh. Capital so, R. Your idea of getting them both on the pod is, I think, the idea. Uh, if they we, both open their mouths, we can do like a side by side. 
Like you ever see where like Kong yes. and Godzilla like are right in front of each other and like Aah! Yes. And they both like growl. Well <laughs> and then you get that like silhouette of the yes. gap like of their mouths open. Yes. Well here, well we need we I think we need the fans help. <laughs> we have access to Samantha Ramsdale. Yeah. The other the the couple episodes ago we talked about the the the, the boy with the world's biggest mouth. If anybody knows him, can they please reach out and have we'll him fly them in? We will Absolutely we'll on our dime, 100% fly them in. I got a lot of stand updates coming up. We got Philadelphia, Pennsylvania almost sold out. We just added Irvine Improv, Los Angeles, California at the end of September. That's on sale. Fort Lauderdale, Florida in September. That's on sale. Nashville, Foxwoods Theater, Pittsburgh, all on sale. Uh, Palm Beach, Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida, and Phoenix, Arizona, chrisdcomedy.com for the tickets. They're selling out quick. Go get them, babes. Go to salvocanocomedy.com for any live dates. I have four up now. I'm announcing the entire 2022 tour very shortly, and then all the tour dates with the Impractical Jokers are on sale right now all across the country at the tenderloins.com slash tour. Fly them in. <laughs> Not even going to require proof of vaccine. We'll just get them in the house. Not even close. Don't yeah. worry about Yo, it. Yeah, we'll just get them in the studio. So I, I'd love to get both their mouths on a shot and then green screen you guys in their whole in their mouth for a whole. And that's the new logo. <laughs> green, green screen us doing the pod live from inside their mouths. So you you we'll get a green screen. We'll put the like the whole tonsils here and we're just in it. Yeah, and we literally so do a full hour long episode from live inside their tonsils. That's unbelievable. Sal, I literally... I also think it's like, we... I, yeah, I mean... It, they, we can have a... I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm stroking out a little bit right now, but I have, I have so many ideas going on in my you head. Look, by the way, you look healthy. Your face looks thinner. Yeah? You, right? Haven't you noticed that he looks, he looks down at least 10? That's bad information, though. I don't, I don't think I am. Matter of fact, no, I'm not. You're up. <laughs> You're uh, I don't know if I'm up. I, sometimes when I'm having a bad couple of weeks, I don't dare step. I don't, yeah. I, don't dare step. I stepped on the scale two days ago, and it was a big mistake, but it was yeah. also an eye-opener to say, yeah, yeah Chris, you, when you gain 15 pounds in three weeks, it's, that's not great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I did. But, but that's it's water what you weight. do. You live your life. It's, it's, you drink a lot yeah. of water. I drink a lot and, of water. No, um, I think I, sh I, I sh cut my beard in half a little bit. I think that's what you're seeing. Right. I think that's the right. il illusion that you're seeing right now. <sighs> yeah. So I we have different items on the table, and they each get a chance to put it in their mouth. They each get a chance to put it in their mouth. <clears throat> and only, only one will win, right? I mean, could you imagine they dated? If they had kids, is the kid guaranteed to have, like, a big mouth, you think? <sighs> I think the kid is guaranteed something will be big on the kid. <laughs> I think it's one of those... <laughs> I think it's one of those things where maybe they don't get the big mouth, but they get insanely big eye sockets, or they get, or they get, they, they get be a, any orifice. They get a big, yeah. They something is big. They get, they get literally like, uh, like I'm talking about like a medically problematic to, big, big they, butthole. They, yeah, their first one has the biggest just, asshole in the world. It, it just falls out <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that they're 23 years old. They have to wear a diaper. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So something happens. They, they eat like a sandwich. The sandwich just falls out. Falls out because yeah. the hole is not tight. <laughs> right, right. There's no, la la there's no laxicity to it. Yeah, laxicity. Uh, I said it wrong. You mean elasticity? I think I meant to say elasticity, and I, and I left off the, <laughs> the beginning of it. Oh, you said elasticity? I said laxticity. Yeah, because you also added an X in there or a CS. No, I know you knew you, what you meant. I thought you were saying something, a word that I was going to learn right now. I think I just, I think I just, what I did is I think I combined. I know that you know what elasticity laxed. Yeah. I think I combined laxatives and elasticity, and I, and what, I came up with laxticity. And that's how slang is is born these days, and I think that what you did was you did what people do these days. From now on, I would love the fans of the Hey Bay podcast to go out there and instead of using one of the, it's if you want to say elasticity, laxative, or elasticity, you just say laxicity. Laxicity. And, and you just say that, yeah. and then let the people who you're saying it to figure out what you mean. It's one of those three things. You know what we should do? Maybe laxicity is the word. Let's make a word <laughs> every once in a while, each week. I don't know. Let's make a fake word that our listeners can inject into conversation that sounds like a real word where the person that they're speaking to wouldn't dare question the word and just be like, oh, they must be, they must have a, a vocabulary set that yes. goes beyond my comprehension. Like you ever hear someone say a word or you ever read a word and, and then be like, oh, I'm immediately, when I'm reading and I see a word I don't know, the f I stop reading and I look it up in that second. Yes. 
You do that, right? 100%. So, and, or if someone says it, sometimes I won't be like, I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll just be like, all right, and I'll look it up later. Look it up immediately. So let's, let's start with laxticity. You know what word that is for me, which I heard yesterday watching the Olympics? <laughs> mercurial. What does mercurial, mercurial. mean? Mercurial. Hmm. What does it mean? Freddie Mercurial. I've heard it. What I is the definition it, of mercurial? It, it escapes me. It means subject to sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind. Oh, we're all so, very mercurial. Huh? Then we're very mercurial. Volatile, I mean, my girlfriend's if you will. mercurial once a month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> unpredictable changes. Oh, that's predictable then. Uh, that's the definition. If it's once a month, like I'll Hawkeye. tell you who's mercurial: the damn CDC. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so, by the way, speaking of the Olympics, Sal, I got it. The Olympics. What's going on with those things? You may a lot of have controversy. So you may have seen this already, but I was watching, and this has been going around. Uh, this happened a year ago, two years ago. But I was watching diving yesterday, and the, here's what I learned, D dude. I saw the laxicity of these divers. I mean, laxicity is not even the word. They're full of. They're full, it's like bolts of laxicity. Right. They. What you have to do when you dive is you have to, you know. Do some type of technique on the diving board. That's cool. And then when you get up to the air, keep your body as compact and tight as possible and then land in the water with as limited splash as possible. Right. So that the main things in the dive <laughs> are no splash and keep your body compact and tight. Right. And, and this happened a little while ago, but they showed what happens when dives go wrong. Pim, you may have seen this already. Please Google... Filipino diving fails. You may have seen this already. You may have seen that as soon as you go. Oh, but just keep in mind. Treat. What just, a treat. Just keep in mind. Listen, go Google this right out. Oh, so just, just hold on, wait, wait. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> just keep in mind. Just have you seen this yet? I have not, and okay. I have not been this excited in quite some time. Okay, so just keep in mind that yeah. in order to make like to get <laughs> points, you have to, you have to keep <laughs> your body as tight and coiled as possible and hit the water with limited <laughs> splash. So please watch the Filipino diving team <laughs> attempt this five years ago. Oh, Go ahead yeah. and hit it. Oh god. Why Watch this. Look at him. Watch. Keep going. They've shown it so much. Look. Look, 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 look. Look at so much. And then they zoom it on his face. He gave up. He gave up. Look, look, look. Look at his face. Look at his face. He's like, oh, no. Look, and then he just gives up. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> look at him! Give him my advice. Look, look! He gets a full zero. <laughs> he gets a zero. Oh Out of a possible two hundred points, he got a zero. And look at the next guy. Oh look at the next guy. <laughs> Wait, keep going, Pimp. Let it go because then the next guy goes in knees first. <laughs> look, 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 look! No, oh, is that the last video? <laughs> So that one, so that was the first guy. That was the first guy. So then they say, so wait, so that was the first guy. So then they say, so then they say to the second guy, they say, it's all up to him now if they're going to make the Olympics. So watch the second Filipino diver go. Look at this, Pippi. Look at this guy. Look, this is the very next diver. <laughs> this is to get into the Olympics. <laughs> Look at this guy now. <laughs> <laughs> knees first. He <laughs> went in knee. He looked, he went in with his knee. <laughs> 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 you look, 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 you look, no splash. The, look at the splash. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at, look, it's all on this kid. <laughs> Bro, they got the full zero. He's never dove before in his life. His life. This is to get into the Olympics. Look at him. He just, what the fuck? He just, oh my God. I, I'm crying. Look, look, look. Keep your body tight and no splash. Look, he fully opens up his body and splashes like he's my six-year-old. He did a cannonball. There's never any compactness. Never. He's full. He's spread eagle. He's 
You know, like he's <laughs> from, hysterical from, the second, from the second he gets the Look bounce. at him even closing his eyes and trying to get in the mood. Wait, why is Shia LaBeouf Oh, that's behind? just just a video. That's oh, okay. just a video. But he oh. but he closes his eyes and tries to prepare, and then he does that. Oh. Oh my God! The Filipino—they did not make the Olympics this year. Oh my God! That's the hardest <laughs> I've laughed. I can't. The, I can't. the, the announcers were dying laughing. Yeah, he, he's never compact. You know the funniest thing is, as soon as he launches in the air, he wears the same face on the whole thing. He's like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> he's like, oh my. And then at the end, right before he hits, you can tell he doesn't know exactly where he is, yeah. so he <laughs> shoots his arms out. <laughs> His arms, his, arms are, his arms are facing straight in the air. It's like, it's like he went out after he got out of the pool and the coach is like, what are you doing? He's like, I thought you were supposed to keep your body as wide as possible to maximum splash. Didn't I, didn't I just get all the points? They're like, no, body as tight as possible, minimal splash. He literally... He literally I've never, because I again, I've seen that that video go around. That's that happened a few years ago, but I didn't know like what I thought it was just about his face. But then when I was watching the diving competition last night, they said the the only way to get points is to keep your body tight and have minimal splash. And then I saw that and was dying. Why? Why were they? Why could they? Why did they? They're clearly professional divers. He's the, he made, they both the, just the, took a hot shit at the same time. The Filipino diving team, they just took a hot shit back to back. <laughs> they just, they had no explanation. They said after, the, they just said, you know. <laughs> they just, they went on the side <laughs> and they just like looking at each other like. Ah. <laughs> well, yeah, after they said, what happened out there? And he said, you know, clearly I had a bad dive. He goes, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity. <laughs> it says that authorities investigated what happened here. <laughs> oh my oh, God. I would too. The fact that they both, it wasn't even like they missed the dive by a little they look yeah. like two children that were just at yeah. the pool like a pair of filipino um <laughs> divers have have created a splash in more ways than one after the footage of their botched dive at the southeast asian games in singapore <sighs> caused such a stir that that authorities demanded answers <laughs> this is now no this was five years ago oh, five six but I, it, I have a splitting headache i mean it literally it's so funny they call it just feels funny to, to, to refer to them as a pair a pair yeah. of Filipino divers. What do you call two Filipino divers? A pair. A pair. Um, but yeah, shit, so, so I just thought watching the Olympics yesterday, I just thought um, it was so. <laughs> it looks like they slipped and fell from like a, a yeah. like a rooftop. Yeah, it just I couldn't believe that how bad that was. It was the worst. But but so yeah, dude. You it, feel if you're those two, you you're one of those two guys, who would you rather be? First guy, right? I'd rather be or the, the second. I'd rather you'd make a case that the second guy got psyched out by the first guy yes. and had extra pressure because, and then you can make a case that the the, the first guy set the tone, yeah. but then you can make the case that the second guy all he had to do was not do the. By the way, he did the exact. It looks like that was what the dive they were trying to do because <laughs> yeah. both guys did the exact same dive, yeah. the exact same face, exact same splash. Yeah, it's almost like the coach of the Philippines like didn't understand diving. He was like, "Why are my players getting no points? <laughs> they did exactly what." <laughs> what are you talking about? Knees first. Yes. Yeah. Hands in the air. Maximum splash for the fans. <laughs> Crazy face. Crazy grin. Yeah. I the, mean, have you watched some of the Olympics? It's so weird. Like, yeah, what is this? this sport now? This sniper competition. This American kid won gold for sniping. There's like a Olympic sniper rifle? sniping competition. They're sniping. The countries oh, are great. Sniping. Well, I can't oh, wait we for the next mass lockdown. shooting. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have good luck every other country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have a, we have a team of like a hundred alternates. <laughs> yeah, L yeah. I mean, dude, this is this is. Watching the Olympics, I watched the the sprinting yesterday, and some guy from Nigeria was sprinting, and he just he was losing so bad he just stopped. It's funny, like they just gave up. I love when they stop. He just stopped because he was getting, I mean, annihilated, and he just said, "Ah, you know, he just slowed, he just slowed down." You th you think when you look, oh, he has a hamstring injury, but he, he has no hamstring. He, he just just walked it he off. He just said, "You know what, man, forget it." How do you do that? Why not just get at least your own time is going to be affected? Well, I guess because you just are losing so bad. Was he not running to his potential or was the other guy just way faster? No, I think the fat, the, it's one of those ones where like the new fastest man in the world is actually a guy from Italy. Italy's, yeah, I saw that. So, so, so he's just, I mean, he's he's beat Hussein Bolt's records. No. He's the fastest man of all time He's now. beaten Hussein Bolt's oh, records? Yes, yeah, he beat Hussein. The guy from Italy? <laughs> Since when? Well, I don't know this guy, and I think, but he's Italy, but his name is like something <laughs> Italian Phillips or something. It's not like an Italian. He's just uh, Italians are not represented in a lot of sports. I feel like no, not what well, the Winter Games they do like skiing and things like no, that. No, I mean in the Olympics they have the Italian team, I guess, but I just mean yeah. in general. You never see like 
like an Italian athlete. I mean, they're very yeah, good like, at uh, Marcel Jacobs is the guy's name, but he's not from Italy. I don't know why. See, that's the thing with these countries is like, like there's a guy from San, born and raised in Santa Monica that's running for like Peru. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. you, uh, you can do which I guess is fine. But it's like well, it's with your heritage, right? It's yeah. not like where you live. Yeah, I, but but I mean, like, could you go move to Italy and it could be for Italy? I guess we could because you're. But Your like, lineage is Italian? What's but that? like a country, like let's say a new country or a country that doesn't have that many people. Like could I go at the height of my basketball career, not that it was a career, but like playing college ball, could I have just lived in Qatar for six months and just played, for, like if I really wanted to be in the Olympics. Right. Could Is there a sport? What are the rules? Like could we go move to a country that's a new sport and like try to make the Olympics in that sport? You know what I mean? Well, if so, wouldn't other countries be trying to poach people all the time? I think that they do. Oh, I, I didn't that know that. Do. Well, I know a lot of great athletes, uh, especially in basketball. Almost all, a lot of the basketball Olympics go are, other, are Americans. They're, they're people that, that are born yeah. they just because they can't make the American team. It's the right. NBA. So they go play for another country. Now, uh, the real question for me is I think all sports should do it. Should go Olympic style where I'd rather see countries play each other than Yeah. I'd rather see that too because there's something, you know, like when you see the Portland Trailblazers, even though they're a great team with I think the best uniforms in the game, even versus my hometown, New York Knicks, it's like, ah, eh, Portland versus New York, who cares? But if it was the United States playing the NBA should be a world league. Got it. So you're saying that the New York Knicks are playing the Tel Aviv yeah. Yam Yamaka. The South Africa, whatever. The South Africa Elon Musk's. Yeah. Yeah, but how do you how do you form a league that way? There's got to be all sorts of tax implications. Well, now they have cr- NBA Europe, NBA Africa is coming out. They have NBA, you and know, also the- it seems like China's in charge of the NBA anyway. It, yeah, it does seem like that. It does yeah. seem like that. Well, it's interesting because um, <clears throat> the Chinese and for the Olympics medals, I think the U.S. is still one, but the Chinese is very close because the Chinese, like, the, like the be- by the way, this guy, this is another guy. He he did a false what start. You, what just okay, happened? So there? okay, so what happened was, is I was watching this yesterday. Oh, they kicked him out. Yeah, because just be- for the false because start. his false start was so false. Okay. The thing is, if your false start is ridiculously false, then you lose. This is the guy in Nigeria in the green. He just gives up. It looks like he has a hamstring issue, but at the end, he says, "I, I, I yes, he just stopped." Wait, why would he stop? But he that's, was, he's, that's the Italian. That's is the he a fast. black Italian? Is that a thing? I guess it is. I, I well, don't yeah, know. No, there, there was an Italian. There was a black Half, Italian is he soccer multi, player. Is he, is he he's got to be multi-race. Um, but he, yeah, he won gold. He, he's multi-race and he's winning multi-race. And exactly. There it is. Lamont Marcel Jacobs. So he is an Italian. Wait, Lamont Marcel Jacobs is the Italian guy? <laughs> that's what guy? I'm saying. Yeah, he, he doesn't have an Italian name. But let's get into his life. Go down a little bit, Pimpy. He was born in 94? He was born in El Paso, Texas. That's cool. He was... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was at a concert in 94 watching Pearl Jam, but yeah. okay. I was getting... I, I was literally... Uh, had my first crush on my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Wasmond, if you're listening. I go back to my LeBron James tech thing, where it's like... Marcel Jacobs here, I could have dusted him for like the, his first 10 years of life. 100%. You would have crushed him. I know. When he's an infant? I know. Yeah. When do you think he would have overtook us? Probably when he when he when he's had a growth spurt. I would think Marcel could probably have started to begin to beat us in races when he was about ten. He beats he could probably us. Probably dust us. Yeah, dust us, us when yeah. he's ten. How do you how do you pick up on the fact that you just fast? Is he in the house just running from room to room with a diaper on? His parents are like, whoa, we got a cold. Call the Olympics. Yeah, I guess, I guess, or maybe like the body type. That always fascinated me too about. <laughs> I love, gotta love pimp. Like a track coach. How do like, you know you're fast? How do you Eagles. know you're fast? You get tired. <laughs> how do I, how do I know if I'm running fast? Well, you get tired quickly and find it difficult to complete your run. So that's mostly my everyday life. Um, you don't enjoy your workout and you lack motivation. Well, yeah. this is just speaking directly to us. Yeah. Uh, talking about HelloFresh. No, America's number one meal kit. I actually made uh, a meal, a chicken meal with string beans and potatoes. Stop. Yes. Really? Well, speaking of HelloFresh, I've used it. I cook now. Wow. It gives you confidence right away. Yet, yeah, dude, HelloFresh is seriously, I, I'm happy you're starting to do because I've told you every week on the show, I've been doing HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh and I feel like a professional chef. And I you love HelloFresh. Love HelloFresh. Hello, I feel Freshy. like I feel like, I feel like the lesbian professional chef I had sex with one night three years ago. That's how good, <laughs> I, that, that's how, that's how good I feel. 
on HelloFresh. I feel like I could do her job, even though I'm sure I can't. You get better value. HelloFresh, 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. All the other competitors are only 69 to 71% cheaper. And the source is a, the source is Zagat, so you know it's true. And did I ever tell you the time about the time I said I said Zagat? I worked at my old job, I said Zagat, and then uh, this this woman who was uh, superior to me, she couldn't help but go, it's Zagat. Yeah, well, so, if you're listening and we know you are, if you are listening, time for some earmuffs because we're about to give away the promo code about how you could save even more. Right. All you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash HeyBabe14. That's HelloFresh.com slash HeyBabe14 and use the code HeyBabe14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. America's number one meal kit. Sal, can I be candid with you about something? See, si, please. Oh. I'd like to be candid. I'd like to be please, candid with please, you. Please, please be candid. You need to get your teeth fixed. I know. You do? And where can I get my teeth fixed? Well, I got a place. If you go to candidco.com, yes. they're the specialists. And Candid, it's invisible, comfortable, and removable aligners above the rest for your teeth. So when you want to get your un- your uneven, crooked teeth fixed. Me. You see an orthodontist. Yeah. That's what you do. Well, how about now? We got Candid. The same orthodontist who created your plan is with you from start to finish, so you never have to wonder how you're doing. So Candid just hooks you up with an orthodontist. They say, listen, listen, Snaggletooth. We're going to help you out over here. I did. I chipped my tooth on the middle of High Life once. It it burdens me to this day. (laughs) It burdens me. And I used to have a retainer when I was younger. I took it out. I got some crooks going on. You got some crooks going on. The average Candid treatment is just six months. You'll start seeing results way before then. And it costs thousands less than traditional braces. And with your aligner treatment, you'll get Candid's teeth whitening for freebie weeby wow and i'll start seeing results how soon today way way uh <laughs> way before then wow yes candy can help you get straighter brighter smile you've always wanted right now you can save 75 bucks yes on Can't- your candid starter kit when you get started from home or, or you can book an appointment at a candid studio near you today go to candidco.com slash hey babe and use the code hey babe that's candid the letter C, the letter O, dot com slash hey babe, co hey babe. Take advantage of this limited time offer to save $75 off your starter kit. Candid- but I don't, I think that Jacobs would be the fastest man in the world regardless if he just got out there and ran every day. Right. I just think, I think for sure for running, you can either do that or you can't. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think legitimately- Ask me a question, Sal. Please, can I? Yes. Do you have a moment? I do. And then we'll get to the, I love these acid wash that, you, that you're rocking. I love Air bottom. I love it. I bear, we'll talk about, we'll yeah, talk about it. Bottom, yeah, yeah. I love them. That, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well, well yeah. I haven't done- Do you want to ask me the question and then done, I'll reveal it or you want me to reveal it now? No, well, I'll ask the question. Okay. Do you believe that that man truly is, out of the 8 billion people on the planet, the fastest man? Because he took the route, he acknowledged his, his skill, he, he trained, he made the Olympics, and he, beat, and he won in the Olympics, and he set the Olympic record. Now, is there a fella roaming the earth that was like, yeah, I'm fast, but Olympics are not for me? I, Do you think he's the fastest man out of 8 billion people? I would, I would argue, I would argue that he is not the fastest wow. man. So you think there's an untapped resource out there? I do. I Just do. because of the sheer amount of number. Because I think people. there are many people who are naturally gifted who are ext- that don't want to pursue the Olympics or sports at all, but their gifts are so that if they wanted to, they could. Like, I firmly believe there was a man on, in this world, not right now, but there was a man at the time when Michael Jordan was dominating basketball that was a better basketball player than Michael Jordan. There just has to have been. You, can't, you think it's a little bit impossible that we are truly pinpointing the best one person out of 8 billion. I'm sure that it's happened. I'm sure that it's for real happened. Like so-and-so. You think she has the biggest mouth? Maybe no. not, right? Because here's, here's what I'll tell you. We're not allowed inside North Korea. Right. What if there's somebody in North Korea that's got, you know, that's got a mouth bigger than a blue whale? They, he, they, you go to North Korea and co- come off the runway, walk into North Korea proper, and there's just like Pac-Men walking around. 100%. Just like mouths that open like Like that. Ways. That could be the, like that could a, be the thing, and maybe that's just why. Just a nation full of bear traps. And maybe that's why. Maybe we got it all wrong with North Korea. Maybe they're not 
You know, maybe they're just like, you know what? We don't want anyone in here because we're a little bit embarrassed about the size of our mouths. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And we need to get through that. Imagine Marcel Jacobs rolls up one day. He's in a restaurant or a bar somewhere. And he's like, uh, people like asking for his autograph. And then the actual fastest guy is in there. And he's like, I'm like pretty he- fast too. And they do a foot race outside. And this guy, Devin, let's call him. He dusts Marcel in front of the whole restaurant. Dusts. I think that that is possible and probable. And I'm going to go back to, I think, actually... The fastest man on the planet might be living in North Korea. We don't, we cannot discount that. They don't have internet, right? They don't they have, have internet. They, they don't have, have their own internet? And they're not allowed in the Olympics. Yeah, they're not allowed in the Olympics. They have no Olympics. They have their own internet? Uh, I think, so. no, I don't think so. They don't even have internet? They're not allowed to look outside. Like they can't, they, it's the Hermit Kingdom, so they can't. By the way, I watched a thing on Netflix called um, the, the Tyranny Playbook or. Something or tyrant, something dictator, t- something tyrant, something about tyrants, and they go through all the tyrant playbook or something like that, and they go through all the different tyrants in Civil the world. Civil Lines playbook, Civil Lines playbook, right? Yeah. Um, and 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 they go through all the different tyrants, and they say North Korea is the number one. It, they are the gold medal winning group of tyrants. They've had the longest tier, uh, tyrant uh, dynasty in modern times. They. Can, it seems like they will never, ever, the North Korean people will never, ever be able to overcome the tyranny that's going on there. Every other country has been able to be overthrown because dictators make the same mistakes, but not the Kim Jong-un family. They they continuously do readjust and are tyrants for, forever, this documentary kind of says. Is Un or Il the guy now? Right now it's Un. Last, Il died. Il died, but father. Un is technically, Un is currently ill. Right. But... <laughs> But didn't something happen with Oon? Oon was ill. Oh, Oon was ill. Oon was Oon ill. Oon is ill Oon because he took the place of ill, but Oon was unhealthy. Yes. Oon is technically ill right now. Oon is ill. Oon, Oon was ill. Ill. Ill was Oon. Ill, Ill was ill. Ill was Ill. Ill was ill. And now Oon is ill. And now also Oon was ill. Exactly. Yeah. Oon became ill. Oon has, Oon has become ill. And while Un is ill, he's currently ill. Right. But is Un still ill? Or was he ill for a little bit? There was like there was like there was like murmurs right. that he murmurs. was ill in a bad way. Reports And then that was all a lie? Reports right now are that Un is ill and Un is getting better. Right. But is still ill. And could at some point in the near future not be ill anymore. So who would be Un? His sister. And okay. And I His think her sister will run. And her name is Mary Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Great selection of two names right there. Yes. yes. I love it. She married it was, that's out. A, that's a comedian. She. <laughs> Because there's a million names you could say. Yeah. Mary Patterson works perfectly. There I it wouldn't is. even change it. And if you want to come see me do comedy, go to christinecomedy.com. <laughs> I'm back on tour. We got Philadelphia. We got Dania Point Improv in, in Florida. Go get those tickets, Dania Point. We got a couple of tickets left in Philly, only on the Wednesdays and Thursdays. We got Nashville. We got Foxwoods, a big one in Foxwoods. And we got West Palm Beach, Florida, and Zanies Nashville, all christycomedy.com. Check the dates. We had to cancel Seattle and Portland and Waukegan, Illinois, but those will be back on the book soon. But everything else, christycomedy.com. Go check out the tickets. I'm coming to your city, babe. Show your legs. They're coming. Look at They're those. coming to your city. That acid wash short, that denim short is coming to you. That's it, baby. We're coming to you. Your thighs are milky white right now. I know. I got. I can't ever really them. get a tan. No, who, no who, who tans their thighs, really? I, you know who I don't. I have Jaden Smith on both thighs. I keep that shit covered. <laughs> oh I know, but I, I, I got to get a little bit more color. Speaking of color... I just want to shout out Tom Brady and the uh, oh, New England Patriots. Yeah. I mean, they call, uh, not the New England Patriots, the Tampa Bay Bucks. What am yeah. I saying? Yeah, you had a little bit of a slip. It's I okay. had a slip. Because he's on the Bucks for the first year. Yes. And then they go to the Super Bowl and win it when it's in Tampa. When it's in Tampa. And also, 43. congrats. I'd be remiss to not congratulate Patrick Mahomes, um, who's also mixed race, by the way. That's right. Just like the man from Italy. Maybe yeah. Patrick Mahomes is Italian. He's fast. He's the Kansas City Chiefs runner-up, and I think he's got a bright future. They're doing big things over there. There's a lot ahead of them, too. Their story's not over. 
Your story's not over. This story's so, still being written. Congrats. So congrats to Tom Brady and Tampa Bay. Speaking of stories still being written, I'll be on tour soon too. We don't know when yet though. <laughs> we don't know. I just, uh, in 2022, looking for 60 cities here. Uh, I'll let you know when to look it up on my no, website. but the Jokers are on tour. You, we are. Yeah. The guys are on tour right now. The tour starts November 19th. It goes all the way through to August. More dates will even be added. It's the tenderloins.com slash tour to get all the tickets. We are coming to like 50 cities and it's on sale right now. You're so, coming in 50 cities? Yeah, we're, co- we're coming to 50 cities. Oh, I think so. We're coming in 50 cities. I yeah. was like, oh, that's all right. Well, it depends how long we're there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, just just because I no. like, I want to show off the acid wash, but not the. I love, you know what I love? I love weather that will allow you to wear shorts with a sweatshirt. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. I don't know if today is the day. Is today the day to do that? I no, just, I don't think so. It's a little warm. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just really wanted to wear my merch on the show. I know. I like it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's fun. It's uh, yeah. good. But, but the acid wash, these are from the Bare Bottom, who is a sponsor of, of Hey Babe. So go to barebottom.com um, and, and sponsor. But this is, this is, um, these, I love, I love these shorts. They got so much cool stuff over there. Um, all right. It's nice. It looks like you're putting a little extra effort into, your outfit. Yes. Because it's not your typical short. It's not my typical short. And so. also, I got cactus socks on because I forgot to mention I'll also be in Phoenix December 2nd to the 4th. ChristyComedy.com. Nice. Um, Have you guys seen the deepest pool in the world? This no. is the deepest. This is a for real this pool? Is a swimming pool in like a hotel or something. Get That's the actually hell out freaking of here. awesome. Get out of here. I, how bad do you want to go there? I mean, it's what I want to do after we're done. <laughs> I swear no, to God. Seriously. No, I mean... I. A that, swing pool is my favorite thing in the world. Has to be heated or you won't even attempt to step in. Won't even attempt it. <laughs> won't even attempt to Unless step it's in. a scorcher out there. Right. Unless it's bringing me wonderful, wonderful comfort to chill. I, babe. Yeah. I've been using Copilot. Okay, tell me about you it. You know what it is? It's a, a fitness app. I know that. Yes. So it's a fitness app. It's a one-on-one fitness and nutritional experience that pairs you with a dedicated coach to form lasting lifestyle changes. Because I told you- Oh, a dedicated coach? Dedicated. And the guy is dedicated. My guy's great. I had You have a one-on-one meeting with him, and then he or she or they lay out a plan for you and keep you accountable. That's the thing that I always struggled with. I was not Chrissy accountability. I was Chrissy no accountability. This guy, every week you have a meeting with him, and he, he tells you- my is, Mine's a guy, and he tells you- you have to check in with him. Provide unlimited personalized workouts, yes. nutrition guidance, constant contact to keep you on track while being remote. Wow, so it literally is like your own um, yes. personal trainer. Dude, the coach, and he's a real person, and he sees and analyzes every rep through motion tracking technology. It's like having a trainer right there with you, whether you're at home in the gym or across the globe. Because wow. I told him, I told him, Recently, I said I might be across the globe. Yeah. At some. What if I'm? What about if I decide to cross the globe? He said, No problem at You're all. Crazy cross clubs. We go across the globe. One on one personal training usually costs a hundred a session. I can vouch. Yes. Copilot only costs sixty nine bucks a month That's for it. unlimited coaching and training. It's not just a great product. It's a great price. It's babe. a great price. Yeah. And and it's available uh, right now for iPhones, which is great. Um, Oh, currently only available for iPhones. Okay, I thought that it was available for more than that. It is just only available right now for the iOS, which is fine because if you're not, if you don't have an iPhone, no disrespect. I mean, what are we doing here? Um, you're going to get 14 days of free training and coaching. This is like you really should do this, especially if you're somebody who's on the fence about fitness. Like 14 days, try this out for two weeks, and I promise you, the accountability thing. I noticed that was my biggest problem. It literally can potentially be life-changing. What do you have to lose? 14 days for free. You can get this for free if you go to mycopilot.com slash heybabe. That's mycopilot.com slash heybabe. 14 days of free training. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it together. Lose my tits. I got to be honest. They just said pimp. We just, we just, you just How pulled up the, the pool, pool and it said 60 meters. I don't know what that means. How many feet is it? I think. I don't know what 60 meters That's got to be around 180 feet-ish. How do you know? Wait. Because oh, a meter is roughly three feet. Really? Yeah. It might be a little less or a little more than a yard. A meter is roughly three feet? I didn't know. I thought. I could be wrong. This is Dubai dives back into the record books with world's deepest pool. So it's in Dubai, which I've never been. Have you been to the Middle East ever? Uh, Yesterday. You went? Where'd you go? (laughs) Dubai. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe I didn't see the pool. Interesting. I know. The odds are you pulling up today. It says 3 million gallons of water in there. Damn. And we got people out there, you know. An hour drive. That don't have water. One hour dive costs one thirty five to four ten. So it's a basically a di- people are in it with scuba gear. Yeah. You know what scuba stands for, right? 
Let me take a guess. Scu- you got it. We all know it from, right? You remember it? It's in the recesses of your brain. Scuba. It's an acronym. Swimming is the first letter? The no. first word? No. Well, you know what? Maybe. Okay. I shouldn't have told you. I should uh, let you okay. set it. Scuba. Scuba means so something. Swim, swimming, I already told you, isn't the first word. Okay. So, scuba. Um, uh, 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 it's not swimming. S- is it a real scientific thing, or you're saying like what? I would or is it say a joke? the hint. No, it's not a joke. It's, okay. it's it's literally what the word scuba means when like where it came from, like the etymology. Like scuba is an acronym, and every letter stands for a word, and 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 you know, which you know, and 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 so. Just give me the S then. Self, self control, underwater breathing apparatus. I think it's self contained, but you got it. Wow. See, it was somewhere back there, right? Underwater breathing apparatus. Yes. Wow, that is that is was in the back of my brain, right? Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I just was able to figure it out. Well, that was, that genius? was good. Under yeah, you're you're smart. Oh oh, I wanted to actually bring this up. You just brought that up on your own. I was thinking about this. We're becoming I really, one mind. I know. We seriously no. We seriously are becoming Our powers one powers are growing. It's getting a little crazy now. I was thinking about this today. I was in the shower thinking about this. Before you say that, can I just want to shout out something really quickly? Pimp's got on new corduroys, and these are my favorite. Light purple corduroys. He's never worn those. Oh, that, those are beautiful. Those are, now, what, are, a, what a nice hue. <laughs> but the issue I ran into on the road is I had two pair of pants. I packed all the camera stuff, so I wore my pants out, and now Chris is acclimating to my new pants. Light purple corduroys. <laughs> if you can get, I'd, like, I'd love for you to get a shot of yourself of them if you can and put this in the episode, but these are the best ones I've seen. These are the ones I'd actually consider buying. That color is gorgeous. It's gorgeous color. I'm not even kidding. It's so pleasant. Thank you. I I'm feel like pay- an Easter egg. I would, no, I would no. put that, I would like that color in, like in, on furniture or something. Yeah, I was going to say one of the walls in, in, in one of the kids' rooms are going to paint that color. Oh, that's really nice. All right, let's go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I also, I like that you do a wide corduroy too. Oh, yeah, because everybody's it's about tapered. Wide and thin. Everybody's no, about- not even the leg. The actual corduroy uh, is a wide. The, the, it's, a, it's a thick corduroy. Because you're, because I'd be nervous to wear that. Because I say I don't want to look. I don't want to look wider. But Pimp says bring on the wide. Pimp says bring on to the fashion. wide. Let's go. I used to rock corduroys like nobody's business. Hey. Swear, I was a corduroy guy. I had really? like five pairs of corduroys. Swear to God, five different pairs of corduroys. You're corduroy Rogers all the time. Corduroy <laughs> Rogers. That's a good nickname for you, too. Corduroy Rogers. Corduroy Rogers. His pimp from now on is Corduroy Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> or Corduroy Wood Jr. Yeah. <laughs> we also said, I dress how Joe DeRosa decorates his apartment. Yes. Which is, <laughs> yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. Yes. Taste Buds and a Hey Babe. Yes. Which, uh, which they've seen by now. Which they've seen, which I've seen by now. That was in Joe DeRosa's, uh, that was in Joe DeRosa's apartment, which I couldn't believe what Joe DeRosa's apartment, even though he's, he's a pig, I couldn't believe. <laughs> How Joe neat. DeRosa, of course, is a comedian, our friend on the No Pressure Network. I do taste buds with him. Yes. The other podcast, if you haven't seen that, what are you guys doing? What are you Tune doing? Tune into the other yeah, podcast, jo- too. Joey Butterscotch. <laughs> so, so Joe's apartment, even though I still want to tell you that he's a pig and belongs in a stable or a pigsty, his apartment is so neat and clean, so well kept. It's and organized. So, and so cute. It really made me kind of look in the mirror and say, you got to do better, Chris. Whoa! Did you tell him this? No, of course I won't tell him this because he said he doesn't watch Hey Babe. (laughs) So you you better not tell him either. (laughs) Nobody watches anybody's. (laughs) What do you think we have all the time in the world? We have to sit here and do these. You want to go back and watch? Yeah. (laughs) It'd be funny if I watched both. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch them all. I got them. One of the fans wrote in the comments, shout out this fan, how many paintings of clowns does one adult need? In their <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe, if you, if you, if you, you guys, by now you've seen the episode two weeks ago, you got to love, you got to love a guy, uh, just a, a bachelor who has a red leather couch. Red leather. <laughs> red yeah, leather. I just, mean, he's straight up like, yes. that is bachelor bad. Like if I was a woman coming into that apartment, I said, oh, this guy means business. Supple fire engine, red leather. Red leather couch. You Coming Ouch, in. You, I mean, that's it's all you need to know about Joe. Yeah. He's a mover. He's a shaker. Shaker. You know what I mean? He's 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 slick. Slick. Slick Joe. Slick Joe. And right above it, a insane clown. An insane oil, clown. An oil painting of an insane clown. And then he cooked us meatballs and pork that was exquisite. With the, so I didn't eat the. You pork. You didn't though. like it. I didn't like the uh, pork. Why did I see this clip? Someone sent me a clip. I couldn't eat the pork. I know you didn't like the pork chop here too. No, I like the pork chop here better. People are calling. Oh, that's right. So in the comments. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the pork chop here better, but I can't wrap my head around eating pork. I don't know why. The pork and goat cheese still bothers me. The pork chop we had that day was not the pork chop I really wanted you to have. It was good. It was good. I still thought that pork chop was better than Joe's pork shoulder, even though Joe's pork shoulder was insane. was amazing. Joe's meatball with the sauce was one of the best meatballs and sauce I've ever had. No, no, no. Joe is a fantastic cook. Okay. He really genuinely is. But I thought you didn't like it. No, no. I didn't like the pork. The meatball that he gave me with the sauce was fantastic. Okay. I just don't like pork. not a pork guy. I'm not a pork guy. I'm porky. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, yeah. I'd like you know, I if I was single, I'd say let's pork. Oh. Right. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, and also shout out Joe's birthday. Today's birthday. Joe's birthday? No, it's coming up. Oh, it's coming up. Yeah, oh, happy it's, his birthday, birthday is in uh, two days. We're going out Sunday. Oh, it, it'll go be it'll be on. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. We'll be all be there. Nice. Well, it doesn't matter. Sick. It doesn't. Hey, and we're going. We'll, and and sorry you missed us Sunday. We were hanging out at the stand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could have seen it all of us. It was a blast. We had a great time, man. <laughs> you you're, you're with a you're with a lady, right? Yes. And she says to you, uh, "You're at dinner, right?" And then you're like, "I don't know where this is going after this." And she leans into you and she goes, "I want a pork." Are you like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to to do that with this pork. person. She used the word pork. Unironically, she's not being facetious, okay? She's being dead serious. She says, I really want a pork. I think I got to take it. I think I got to think about that. I'll tell you that. Who, who is this person? Pork. <laughs> pork is tough. Imagine she, was, imagine she goes to a friend. She's like, I, I, I can't even. She's like, I porked this guy yeah. last night. I just, yeah. I porked. Who, who says pork? I just porked one of the guys. I just porked <laughs> a guy I know from the podcast. Yeah. I said, I would say, excuse me? Yeah, who says pork? Pork. Was that like a 70s thing? To be honest with you, at this point, if you pork. said, if you, if, to be honest with you, if you said to me, hey, I, hey, or, or so you, somebody said, hey, I just I just got porked. I would think that it was somebody hit you with a pork chop. Like it was a prank thing, <laughs> right. like a TikTok thing. Got I don't know about. in the face with Yeah, ham. like it's a thing on TikTok. Like I'd yeah. say, what do you mean porked? Like on TikTok? Right. Because it, it'd be so out of the lexicon right. you know, of, of sex. I'd be like, that has to be a new TikTok thing. That we're getting out of here porking There's, people. You wouldn't connect it to sex I wouldn't sex connect that to like, sex right so now. There's so much laxicity. My, my, you know, somebody in their 50s, my mom or dad might. Right. You know, be like, I parked your mom last night. Right, right. Because they know? understand laxicity. Yes. They yeah. understand like the laxicity of the word. Uh, here's, a, here's another thing, everyone listening. Take this opportunity this week to use pork as a verb with someone that you know and just see what their reaction is and sound off in the comments. Just go or, or email us. Oh, Pim, you got, did we, did we get all those emails about the merch ideas? Oh, we got tons of emails. Okay, can you, we got to, I got to, I need to log in. We got to get on that. Yeah, okay. we got to do that. We're going to do that because here's the thing. Here's the thing is we, we're now on Hey Babe week after week, we're going to start giving you homework. So your homework today is to, is to use in a sentence or even have a video of you using laxticity and pork. And you can email that. You can either tweet that video at the Hey Babe pod or email it to Hey Babe podcast at gmail.com. Correct. Well, maybe we'll even bring up one of the best videos of somebody using laxticity and, and pork. pork because here's the yes. thing yes here's the thing we're if the cdc is going to tighten up so are we on hey babe that's right we're tightening up and we're going to give you homework week in and week out we're tightening up the reins this is the new regime do you want to be part of this do you not want to be part of it whatever you, you want to be on the inner cirque yeah you want to be on the outskirts yeah the inner cirque de soleil i'm sorry i cut you off about ashton kutcher and mila kunis they don't bathe wow they don't bathe and neither do their children <laughs> that's the top line Okay, they bathe like once a week. And I look, we've all heard the stories. Your body has natural oils. You're not supposed to wash your hair every day. You're stripping it of it. It's it's essentials. I've heard it. I've seen the articles, blah, blah, blah. The fact of the matter is they abide by it and they go in hard. They say they don't even touch their kids unless they see physical dirt on them, which as a baby I get. And they say they shower, but just the... uh, just the groin and the and like the pits and stuff. So my dermatologist told me, shout out Dr. Patel, my shout dermatologist out. told me you should really only be washing, you really only have to legally wash your armpits and your genitalia. Well, this is what Ashton and Mila Kunis said. He said you don't really have to so wash any other part law. of your body. Yeah. So so what we're doing might be I mean we're we're doing something not but what illegal. About a face. He said you don't have to. Nah, you should you gotta get the dirt off your face. Now, does that mean there's a big shower? Like, is there a big shower that's pushing all this stuff? Right. <laughs> no, shower. I mean, shower people hate this. 
They hate this. They hate this. <laughs> Oil of, I mean, yeah, Dove soap is like they're they're they they want to cancel Ashton Kutcher. Babe, I got soap. a scrub, babe. I got a scrub. I got. I don't. You know what? Take my oils. Take it. I need to go in there. I need to lather up. I need to. I need to steam up. I need to lather up. I need my pores open. I need all sorts of scrubs, lotions. I need all that stuff. I need to come out feeling like a million bucks at least once a day, babe. My response to that is same sickles. Yeah. I'm in the same boat because right? here's what I'll tell you even this. I don't know if you're like this or Pimpy, if you're like this. Every time, if I take three showers a day, every shower I wash my hair. I wash, If I'm in the shower and water's hitting my body, I'm, I'm washing my body and shampooing and conditioning my hair. It doesn't, I could do it, I'll do it three times a day. I know, and doesn't the conditioner help maintain the essential oils? Or they say you could go in and just use conditioner. I tried it once or twice because I wanted to see what all the hubbub was about, and I didn't have the body bounce and shine that I normally have. Interesting. Yeah. How many showers a day do you have? I do, okay, I do one a day. Sometimes in summer months or if I'm coming from an activity, I, I, I've done two, you know. Um, and then if I'm, like, home for an extended period of time, like a three-day weekend, and I'm, I didn't leave the house, I might skip a day. If I'm just like, I never right. get out of my sweats or my pajamas and the right. next day I do it. Right. But, you know, I'm a generally a, a once a day guy. You're a once and a day. Do you like, uh, and, and then in the morning or at night, because it's really nice to take one at night before bed. But if I take one at night before bed, I got to take one again in the morning. Me too. I can't just wake up and get dressed out of bed without showering. I literally was almost late to the pod today because even though I had, you know, slept with the air conditioner was on high. Yeah. I did not sweat at all. I was like, should I shower? Should I not? Should I shower? Should I not? I said, I have to take a five second shower. I just have to shower before I go in, before I go to the pod. Yeah. And you know, my family was like, what do you shower? Like, you don't need to shower. You're late. I said, I just, I was already, dr I'm talking about, I already had these clothes on. Yeah. And I took them off and showered. Yeah. Because I need to. I would, pr I would propose that you and I do an Ashton and Mila and then <laughs> don't shower and set the parts until next time and then see how it goes. But I can't even commit to that. How about this? I can't do it. All the fans out there, I want you guys to not shower for a week <laughs> and then email to heybaypodcast at gmail.com the pictures of your best rash. The best rash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We will retweet whoever gets the, the biggest source. Sa sound off in the comments. <laughs> I love saying that. Sound off. Uh, 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 if like Mila and Ashton, if, you, if you're listening, and we know that you are, uh, uh, we, we, we appreciate you guys. I would love to talk to you and interview you about this, but sound off in the comments about how many showers a week that you take and what's the longest you've ever gone without a shower right. and what came of that. But what, what we really want, though, is, is we want videos of you guys using laxicity and pork. Yes. In a sentence, we don't want the other person to know. We want to see how they react to both laxicity and pork. Any which way you want to do it. You want it to be your wife, your barista, your brother, your Is it boss. barista or barista? Uh, I think it's either. What do you think it is, pimp? I like Bar barista. That I like barista. Good. I think it's probably barista. But I said barista, didn't you said I? said barista. Barista. And it's barista. Yeah, I, 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 know, I just wasn't sure. I don't think I've ever even said barista. No, I say no, the coffee guy. Moment. It doesn't matter what, if you're male, female, uh, trans, I say the coffee guy. Always, yeah. which I know I should do better at, and I apologize to the community. Just, if it is, it's just a, there's a tw like a 19-year-old girl there with a ponytail. You're like, the coffee guy has my order. It could be a six-year-old Filipino girl. I'd say the coffee, you know, I, I got it from the coffee guy. They've been having me put my Prince Herb. Uh, I had to go by Prince Herb, like, in right, public. Right, right. So when I get my coffee at Starbucks, I had to say, like, I put, I put Prince on there. Really? Because so I had to record it and send it in. They want to see it happening still. They used to, yeah. Oh my they have God. to say whatever Dude. you say on that, by yeah. the way. Yeah. The barista has to say whatever name you put on that. Really? Yeah, because I put my old nickname was Jacrispy yeah. from the show. <laughs> and uh, I put it on all the time. And they would be like, Jacrispy. Jacrispy. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen this happen before. I forgot to tell you this. Last week, you know, because I've had to keep going back and forth L.A., you know, to New York to do uh, Backyard Bar Wars every Thursday, 10.30, uh, hashtag BBW, right after an all-new Impractical Jokers, 10 o'clock Thursday. Thursdays are for the babes all over. Yeah. True TV, podcast, everything. But, so, I'm, you know, keep going back and forth. So, finally, finally, the last episode of Backyard Bar Wars is filmed and love the show, but just saying I needed to get back to New York. I just missed home so much. I, I hated even having the thought of I have to leave again in two weeks. I just want to be home. I just want to be home. And so finally, the very last day, we filmed the episode. I'm on a 10 p.m. red-eye flight, and I'm finally like text my family. I'm coming home, coming home. 
I, this has never happened before in my life on a flight. How many? I've taken thousands, thousands flights. Sorry. We literally go out, like out, pulling back. I'm like, we're just pulling back and go in airplane mode, whatever. Like we're coming out. Airline pilot says, you know, coming out, uh, you know, whatever. You know, gives you all the updates, five hours in the air, whatever, whatever yeah. it is. Coming out, we're literally like out, like going. On the run. On the run. We're actually like about like we make that turn and we're actually like speeding up to take oh, off no. the pilot slams on her brakes legitimately like slams on her brakes and comes over the pa and says this has been hey babe <laughs> that shit is bananas h-e-y-b-a-b-e that shit is bananas h-e-y-b-a-b-e that shit Don't be a flake, don't run away.